Taya? Please tell me who are you. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. This will only take a moment. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. Spectral spiders hiding away in there now. Good. I can't hide now. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian, yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Can she find anything in this mess? Is that really what's important right now? She draws well. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her. Oh, manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. <laughs> Shall we dance then? This 
spirit chasers were working, we wouldn't have specters. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. Dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? I get the feeling folk are preparing to leave. Red McWraith. I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. What's new around here? I have no time for gossip. Now that you're in charge, what's the plan? We finish what we started. We find the strength to leave New Eden forever. But not yet. They still have too much fear in their hearts, and not enough hope. The region is still dangerous. They may never find the courage they need to leave it. How fair are the people round here? We're not out of the woods yet. You'll excuse the pun. I'm sorry to bring this up, but your sister owed me money. So? I did my part. As the new leader of the camp, the debt falls on you. Let me be sure I understand. You killed my sister, and now you're asking me for... Payment. Well, the beast is dead. And I don't work for free. You've a neck of brass and a bastard's heart. I hope your mother's very proud of you. Listen, you don't pay a banisher to get what you want. But to do what must be done. And the beast is dead. Pay me. You may take your blood money for bad work well done and shove it in your choice of hall. Do you wish to talk about what happened with the beast? You killed my sister. I have nothing more to say to you. I'm sorry for your loss. Thick Skin hired me to rid the forest of the beast. It was a haunting. Resolved it. Your work presents you with ill-starred choices. 
I hope they weigh heavy. They do. More than you could know. Good. The settlement seems to be doing well with you in charge. We've made some gains, but we're far from ready to leave. Did you tell them what Thick Skin did? I told them she died hunting the beast. Some are yet in their sullens, but they're better with sleep. Now the nightmares have stopped. Perhaps them not knowing is for the best. If we are to keep our chins up and leave for good, better they stay in the dark. Still, some troubles yet vex. The bodies of the lost are buried, many without names, but we found tracks. They lead away into the woods. Some may have escaped. I need to know for sure. If they're alive, you mean? Yes. And if they're dead, that they won't be coming back. We need no more beasts. A new scourge is always possible, but very unlikely without the Nightmare's influence. Probably best to confirm, eh? Thank you. I followed the tracks as far as I could from the killing ground. I left a red flag as a marker. From there, I ventured no further. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I'm busy. Find them yourself. I'm not asking you to do anything. I just need information. I may have some to share in return. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You just can't leave a scab unpicked, can you? Especially if it's not your own. Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? Pennington had a daughter, and you knew her. I knew her, but not well. Deborah had her in the school and spoke of her from time to time. Shy as a porcupine and twice as prickly, as I recall. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. What did Grace look like? I remember her thin and boyish, encumbered by dresses she hated to wear. That sounds like Seeker. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods. Trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Oh, damn this to hell. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. I believe Daniel Keep.
Ian has work for us. Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here?
This can't be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Debra knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. Fine wardrobe, a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her. Right. Quite the fall from grace. That's not funny, and neither is this. Aye, fair enough. Seeker drew this. Now we know, she's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation, and we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. 
Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. Strange. Spectral stains still envelop the house. Let's investigate. There are still writings on the wall. New ones from Thomas Haig. Or what's left of him. I should have known his spectre would linger. Well, he's gone now. Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Panisar, est de loin le plus perfect. I became the pitiless thorn, but I did not make the world, it made me. Oh. 
No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. Well, ho there. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Build bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We found a page ripped from a book. Here, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, uh not done. We know, but we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. Ever heard of some seeker? This seek We think we think she Then you'll need to unravel. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend, your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. I was right, and I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the void. That's just great. Just great. 
Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we find her, we'll be glad to tell her. We have failed. Go on then. Talk to me. I'll hold back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way.
The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains by the path. No time to lose. Once I've bruised the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Precise. Well done. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at a chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> this isn't over yet. Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. She 
don't see anywhere that can help. Keep searching here. Well, this looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red. They brought more friends. Don't just stand there. Move. Fancy a race! I have another in sight. Rage and random. 